Hey guys, welcome back to Indy. We're making our rounds here at the ATA show, and always great stuff to look at. I'm here with Chris at the lacrosse boots. Chris, yep. let's lay it out here. we got some new products this year that we're going to talk about. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the lineup. Yeah, so new products, uh, lacrosse footwear. Uh, so these products are going to be available fall of 2018, probably delivered in July. Okay, excellent. Um, the first thing that we've done for this new year is really started to kind of look at um, how we can speak more specifically to the female hunters, the women hunters. Okay. Um, in the past, we've always kind of taken a, a guy's boot and tried to shrink it down, uh, make it fit or make it work. That works sometimes, but as the women hunting market grows, we want to kind of make sure we're in line with that. Um, well, we've definitely seen a lot of growth there for sure. There's definitely more women getting into hunting, so I think it's great that you guys are taking this position. Yeah, so, so new for 2018, we have the women's switchgrass. So uh, the development of this boot really started from the ground up. Women designer, uh, women feedback, um, just kind of all in. So we had a room of people giving feedback. We had the guys looking at one design and the women looking at the other. We picked the one that the women brought. Nice. Um, so really tried to focus on that emphasis of like, this isn't for us, this is for women specifically. So, the Switchgrass, it's a really simple boot, retails for 120 bucks, um, all the way up to 140 bucks to the 1200 gram right, package. The higher it, it's not a neoprene boot, it's just simply a full clad rubber boot um, with a comfort story. Lacrosse has always been known for the Grange and the Burley Classics, which are just straight rubber, um, but we've basically taken what we know there and put a comfort package into it. Um, so it's going to be great in the field long term, and then for cold weather, you can step up to the different insulation packages. Excellent, excellent. Different camo patterns. Seeing that right off the bat, definitely. Uh, the new real tree edge pattern uh, on the 800 gram uh, boot, uh, and then the 1200 gram package is, is country as well. Now, so will they be able to get the camo in any one of them? Or no, no. So uninsulated right now is country. 800 okay. gram is real tree. Um, and then as, as the line picks up and becomes more successful, we can look at adding sure. some different camo patterns. Excellent. Okay. Um, beyond that, you know, new stuff, uh, we've got some other comfort things. So these nice are really just like sure. nice camp shoes. Yeah. Like, I wear these things around the house all I the time. Agree. I walk the dogs, this is the shoe I'm wearing. We make them in, this is new in camo. We also make them in the traditional lacrosse green and then a brown. Yeah. Um, you can never go wrong with those, man, on and off. <laughs> Right. It's, it's been pretty amazing. I've really enjoyed them. They're comfortable, slip on and off really easy, um, and, and look pretty good. You can wear them with jeans, and people hardly realize you're wearing a rubber boot. So, excellent. Uh, pretty good. Uh, beyond that stuff, um, it's really expanding on um, existing lines. So the Alpha Really Pro family is our biggest family. It's our most successful family. So last year we launched uh, the off the fade patterns. Um, so based on feedback and what users are looking for and wanting, uh, we basically um, answered that. So the waterfowl guys, they wanted a lighter insulation package, so we gave them an insulator. The whitetail guys up north, they wanted 1,600 grams, so they got 1,600 grams. And then another waterfowl pattern for the guys down south, their timber pattern. So expanding on that, um, we're also looking at um, playing with a 400 gram package, which okay. Uh, is the winters have gotten a little milder, you know, early season, huh? like that cold's not coming as quick as it used to, it seems like. We've had a lot of interest in something to bridge the gap between uninsulated and 800, so we're testing out a 400 gram package um, to see how that goes. It kind of extends that early season a little more, uh, but it goes from there. And then we're also adding uh, a winter to AV Pro and Elevated 2 as well, which uh, was asked for a lot. We did a special exclusive with Cabela's last year, but now in line, everybody is a thousand grand. Try not to think of that, but so it's just a little shorter than what the guys did, so it's not hit by behind the knee. Well, my favorite boat, we got to get to that one for sure. Yeah, so. Arrowhead Sport. So Arrowhead Sport has been in line for a couple seasons now. Um, I think this is its third season. Uh, we're just expanding the offering. So we have a snake boot in this now, and then um, we've expanded into country and Osseo bottom land um, patterns. So this boot, the one thing I love to reemphasize with this boot is the comfort, the durability, and the weight. Like, 
lightweight and sleek looking, but what you get from this liquid PU shell here is uh, underfoot comfort. Uh, yeah, where's that break? Let me, let me that break down. Let me show people. I tell so you, if I mean, you can look in on this, so when we talk aero technology, basically what you have is a neoprene sock, and uh, the, that sock goes into a mold, and the, this PU is injected around that with the outsole. Uh, but what you end up getting is you have a layer of the neoprene. So in this case, this boot, which is another cold weather boot of ours, it's got seven millimeters of neoprene, and then it's got the PU shell. And you can see that PU shell goes all the way around your foot. So it provides a lot of squishy underfoot comfort. So it's super comfort, comfortable. And then it's super warm. So PU is what you find in a lot of these rotomotive coolers, Yeti. Um, your freezer at home, I'll use PU as the insulation property. Huh. So that's what we're using as the insulation. So our Arrowhead Sport, the three and a half mil version is probably right around 800 gram equivalent. The seven mil you're getting anywhere, probably upwards of 1,000 to 1,200 grams. So what a great boot. Great boot. The rubber, like rubber holds cold. Like it just holds the cold, the cold penetrates it. And that's what gets your toes cold, right? The PU doesn't absorb that cold as much. So, uh, great, great technology. These retail for 160 to 170 bucks, uh, depending on what insulation package you have. Now, these boots are pretty much available right now, correct? Yeah, so, the, so we have this family available today. Uh, we do a solid brown and we do some real tree styles. So these are additions that will be available in July. Okay. And then as far as the lady line? The, lady line, the ladies lines, these will be available. The new stuff is also available in July. So sometime in the summer, right before when people start buying for any season. So. Excellent. What's the have? price point on the uh, shoes? We got a quick question here. Price point on uh, camp shoes. Uh, price. Uh, Putting this, us on the spot here, guys. <laughs> uh, Ninety nine, ninety nine. So hundred bucks. Okay. Any other questions here? While we're in question only. All right. Well, Chris, we appreciate your time for sure. I mean, you guys are always being innovative, always coming up with ways to keep people's feet warm and dry. Super important. We appreciate it. So thank you very much. Thanks for coming.